What up, cichlids? Where's the babies? Oh, there they are. Look at the little baby. My boy Tyler Nolan. This is the reptile. Holy moly. The lovely room of death. Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're not. Yeah. Ooh. You gotta watch out. That's, this is uh, from a king cobra. He's gonna get a lot bigger than this. Do you hear that? <sighs> Kaferos, all my tanks are for sale. Let me explain. Today's video is brought to you by Manscaped. Now when you think of Manscaped products, you're probably familiar with their trimmers and formulations designed specifically for below the waist. In fact, Manscaped is trusted by over 4 million men worldwide for these premium tools and formulations. Like the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Hair Trimmer or the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. My new favorite Manscaped product is the new Underarm Stick Deodorant. The new Underarm Stick Deodorant by Manscaped is 2.65 ounce rounded twist cap deodorant stick that is perfect size and shape to take on the go or fit into any size travel bag. The rounded bottle design also looks a heck of a lot cooler than anything else I've ever seen on the market. The stick deodorant itself is clear gel, aluminum free, underarm deodorizer that leaves zero residue on your clothing. <sighs> but also smells absolutely amazing underneath any clothing you have on. In addition to a non-greasy clear gel formula, it also has quick drying properties and premium odor protection so you could trust it to last even under the toughest conditions. Whether you are at the gym, in the office, or even at your house, this right here has a subtle but masculine scent that neutralizes odors with a refined scent of light citrus, a hint of sandback jasmine, vetiver, and woodsy accents. It's not overwhelming like a lot of heavily fragranced deodorant sticks out there. It helps neutralize odor without impeding on your body's natural ability to sweat. It's got the same familiar refined cologne quality fragrance. Found a lot of Manscaped product formulations. So it complements my other Manscaped products very well. The Manscaped Stick Deodorant is not actually filled with all those harmful chemicals, dyes. However, the Manscaped Stick Deodorant is cruelty-free, aluminum-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, dye-free, and vegan. So ditch the old stick that is filled with harmful and irritating ingredients and see for yourself just why Manscaped is the global leader in men's grooming. When you visit Manscaped.com, you can get the new Manscaped's aluminum-free underarm deodorant and have the option to bundle that for even more savings. Check out their new ultra premium collection which includes the Manscaped underarm deodorant, the new Manscaped hydrating body spray, the Manscaped body wash, the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and a free gift, the new three-pack lip balm with eucalyptus oil when you bundle the ultra premium collection. I'm telling you, don't sweat it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, right? <laughs> Manscaped's got you covered with their new full body solutions. It's just right down in the description down below. Click the link, manscaped.com slash Paul, 20% off right now. That's manscaped.com slash Paul, 20% off. Link's down below. Thank you so much, Manscaped. Let's get today's video started. It is a couple days now here at the PC Farm 2.0 with all the pigs. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Hello, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Oh, okay, okay. Where's Lulu? Still sleeping in there? Oh, there she is. She's over there scratching her bum. All the pigs are here. The first batch of animals. If you guys have not watched the video of, you know, obviously building this enclosure, which then we put the pigs into, that video as well. All the videos are on the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hey, Mama. As you can see, we have all the fence that we need in order to build the rest of this enclosure. The duck enclosure. The pond is dug. I think I want to build the duck house very soon and of course once the water fills up then we'll plug the fountain in and we have a fountain that changes colors at night and stuff like that in this pond as well. But the duck enclosure, Lady May Mango's enclosure, more enclosures can't be built until this building is up right here because I build them off of the building. Does that make sense? I can't put all these posts in the ground and stuff like that blocking trucks access to get into the yard. Yet, not yet. If you're asking yourself, Paul, when is the building gonna get done? You know, I'm gonna tell you here straightforward, I don't know. Hopefully, what they've been telling me is about the end of March. Fingers crossed for that. Hi, Lilo, you're so cute. 3,500 gallons doing amazing as well. It just stinks that the water's like dark. Because the liner's dark. This is a koi pond. If you're not familiar, I'll say it real quick for those of you who already heard this. This is a koi pond. My fish are temporarily being put into here, the predatory fish, until the 5,500 gallon with four viewing panels is set up inside the fish room in the backyard. So it's just a holding tank for now. All just chilling, they're loving life. Once these fish are into the 5,500 gallon, then the koi fish and goldfish and mollies, platies, lily pads, all that stuff is going to go into this and it's gonna look beautiful. And in today's video, we visit Tyler Nolan's place where he's got some of the world's most deadly snakes. Go fish shopping, update you on some things that are going on in the fish room, get a tattoo, like a ton of stuff. This video is crazy. Let's get right on into it. 
with the rest. Holy moly. The lovely room of death. What's yeah, up, this guys? is, it literally is. This is my buddy Tyler. He's got his own YouTube channel. I'll have it linked down below. Yeah, there's two Cobras chilling about a foot in front of me. As you can see, right there, this one's about 10 feet long. And then the one above is not too happy. She's actually hooded up right now. And that one's, how big is that one, you think? She is like six feet, maybe? Something like that. She's fired up. Yeah, and then these guys, these are my favorite, but he said they're really, really, really mean. Super mean. <laughs> Look at the sheer girth on that thing. I mean, those are huge. Sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're not. Yeah, he's super chill for the most part. So, so when this big bites you, what happens? Dude, you're so screwed. So screwed. Like at this size, the venom yield of this snake is insane. Like, look at the venom glands on the head of this thing. Like, super fat freaking glands, dude. This is a serious snake, bro. Hi, <laughs> dude. Their teeth are gigantic, especially, dude, the fangs on this snake, they're probably like an inch and a half long. Just... He didn't like me being behind him. <laughs> That's crazy. It's some scary stuff, though. I'm speaking to someone that knows it best. Once you put this snake away, we'll have to show him your finger. So you gotta watch out. That's This is, um... Maybe six years ago, this is from a King Cobra. I'm just doing some snake stuff like we're doing right now. And then, bam, gotcha. Got me. And you were lucky enough to get the finger yeah, taken off I mean, before it killed you. Yeah. A full grown King Cobra has enough venom to take down an elephant. Like, the venom yield on these guys is crazy. The venom isn't extremely toxic, but just the amount of venom that they pump into you is what's gonna kill you fast. So I got super lucky. I think I only got one of his actual fangs in my finger. So I didn't really get a direct total dump of venom. So I think yeah. that's what's pretty much what kept me alive. But hey, if you ever have anyone come up, why is your finger missing? You got a story to tell. Yeah, I'm like, oh, cobra bite. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you take him out every day, right? Oh yeah, look how long this kid is. He's gonna get a lot bigger than this. A God. lot. Like massive. You know what's crazy? Is that you're that comfortable just Casually holding the 10 foot cobra after your fingers are gone. Yeah. Now this is venomous, right? Yes. So these are Gila monsters. There's three venomous lizards in the world. They're Gila monsters, beaded lizards, and Komodo dragons. They're so you said this can't kill you? Can't kill you. Hence, make, wh hence why I'm holding it. It'll make you super sick though. Like Really? Super, oh yeah, dude. You'll be vomiting. It's bad. Really bad. I've been bit a few times by them. And it was not fun. Look at it that. was always doing dumb stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like anytime I've ever been bit, I'm like trying to like show people their mouths, like making them open his mouth and stuff. This is an epic room. There is a lot to show you guys. I can make a full video in here. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to see something like that, I will come back and I'll do a full tour of this entire thing. I think we'll show one more thing. Then we got plans for this afternoon. He's a tattoo artist as well. A very, very well-known. Yes, he's a very well-known artist around here. And I'm going to get a tattoo on my arm, which you guys know I love my tattoos, but I've never got one from Tyler himself. Show them one more snake. What's a good one to show? Maybe a teaser for like a future full tour video. It says uh, dangerous. Yeah, this is a bad snake right now. <laughs> you know when Tyler grabs a hook, it's uh, yeah, it's scary. Sick. They're short and stocky. Oh, sh look at them kicking stuff. So these guys have the largest fangs out of all the snakes. Out of everything, these guys are the biggest, bro. Their fangs will be up to two inches long. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh, he's hissing. Lots of things to get necrotic, so if like they bite you, like, if you bite your hand, your arm, whatever, like the things got to rot off your body, pretty much <laughs> melt off you. Yeah, guys, let's just put it this way. Don't go buy these things. See, he's had that snake for almost 10 years, so I'm sure you've handled it many, 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 many times. Oh, yeah. Do not try any of this at home. That is a fact. I'm sure none of you have a cobra just sitting in your room anyway, so we'll, we'll do a full tour. Full tour. Just smash the like button. This video gets 15,000 likes. He only lives like 45 minutes from me. Yeah. Make the trip, do a full tour for you, Kaferos. Again, Tyler does have his own channel. I'll have it linked down below. We are now gonna head over to, oh, let's go in the backyard. The tat shack. Yeah, let's, let's we're gonna show him a couple things that he's got in the backyard, and then we're gonna go to the tat shop. Now inside here is the most tamed alligators, American alligators I've ever seen. Check them out. I this love is, it. This is Corona, is the other one. He's like almost melanistic. Yeah, so this yeah. one, yeah, see how dark he I is? I thought he was melanistic. Yeah. It's definitely very Such a cool black. animal. Richard! Richard! Hey, you're my middle name, you know that? You want to show us? Richard's showing us. Look at these beasts. Yeah. Rhino iguanas. You've seen Tyler's house now. We're going to go get a little, little tattoo. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Alright, 
it is about a month later, right? Month later. About a month later, and it's uh, time to finish it up. He's already done the outsides of it, and it looks pristine. So oh, yeah. now we do the inside, and yeah, a little bit more there. And looking oh, good. Oh man, so nice thing. We are. It's been like literally like 45 minutes. He's already kicked through half of it. Boy Tyler Nolan. It is a little red right now. A little red, a little tender out here. A little red, but that'll go away, obviously. All these super light grays, that's why it's so red right now. All this stuff is really light, so you'll see when it heals all the different tones. Two session process, and this man killed it. The fastest I've ever had any tattoo work done, and the best, for sure. True. All my tattoos are gonna be done by this guy Ish. from now on. Yeah. So I just wanna say thank you to so Tyler Nolan. Caferos, go over to Tyler's channel. Subscribe to his channel down below, please. Uh, show him some support, because he absolutely killed this one. We are here at the fish store. I wanted to get something cool um, for the fish room or the 3,500 gallon. But you know we go straight to the big tank to look for stuff like that. There's this really cool fish right here. This fish right here, that's what it's called. It looks like something straight out of the Amazon. Couple cichlids, of course, they always have big cichlids. On the smaller end of everything, there's so many fish. Look at all the angels. So many angelfish. Yeah, little red hooks. These are like little piranhas. More angels, tiger barbs, albino tiger barbs as well. These are sick. Look at that. My guy Mark always has a great selection of tanks. Every single time I come here, there's more tanks than any other pet store I've ever been into. Just as a good supplier, I guess. Look at this, so many, so many tanks. <laughs> Look at this, there's just endless, literally. And these are nice. They got the stands with them, nice tank. How many gallons is that? 125. Ah, we're here at the fish room. What up, cichlids? Where's the babies? Oh, there they are. Look at the little baby. The cichlids had more babies. They just keep on reproducing. What's going on, Bingo? Bingo's wife down here. Beta, 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 beta. I got turtle food. Oh, we got the albino just hanging out. Looks dead, but he's not. There you go, everyone. Eat up. Indian spotteds are always down. There's the quarry cat, goldfish. We got all the yellow bellies just chowing down right here. Look at the little belly on a little painted turtle. The albino's got his head sticking out of the sand. Yeah, it might be another month or so, but hey, all these fish are going to be at the new PC Farm 2.0 very soon. Look how big our flower horn is getting. You look beautiful, and you need a tank that's lit up and more centered. Maybe inside the house. It's just got too much personality, beautiful fish. I think you're just too cool. This is not a fish, but I am growing my mangroves and they look absolutely amazing. Straight at the top of the mantis shrimp tank. Where's our mantis shrimp? Oh yeah, he's back there in the corner. Oh, axolotl. I almost forgot to give you guys an update on the axolotl. He's got a piece of shrimp. I'm gonna get him into a bigger tank as well. Right now that's like 20 gallon, um, but I do want to get him into like a 40 long. So he has a lot more space. I want to get more coverage for him, so more live plants and stuff like that. Yeah, shout on that. Oh, my camera, no, focus. And I like to update you, Caferos, every single time I possibly can, because I know videos only go out like every three to four days, so for you, it's a lot longer than it is for me. I see this stuff every day. I gotta think as a viewer thinks, you know? Think as the Caferos think. <laughs> now we can see everything. I turned the aerator off, and now you can see just all the fish. Now you're probably wondering, title and thumbnail, what the heck do you mean you're selling all your aquariums? I'm actually planning on doing a big upgrade, not only to the aquariums, but as you know, the big fish building. That's an upgrade itself from what we're in right here. But I do want to sell some tanks. So if you guys are interested in any of these tanks that I'm about to show, it's going to be really hard to go through all the messages, but serious, serious, DM me on Instagram. I'm literally probably going to give 90% of them almost away for free practically. Might keep this one right here, but like this one, I want to get a bigger one. So something like that is totally up. This one is perfect for cichlids and I plan to do some more. So I'll probably keep that one. This one's for sale, 100%. I might even sell this, which is really cool. It, it just pops right out. It's the turtle pond. Because we're doing upgrades. We're making this much, much bigger, much wider. Obviously, these turtles are growing. And although I could use, you know, this again for smaller turtles, I'd rather pass it down to a Cafero. Axolotl tank, like I said earlier, I wanna upgrade him, so this is as well. That tank, uh, these two I'll probably keep because they're like my uh, statues on each corner of the entry. And then of course the 1,000 gallon will probably have to like come apart, honestly, because this thing is massive. And those fish will go into the big tank. Um, yeah, so 90% of all these tanks are for sale. Caferos, that's all I've got for you today. Epic day, epic vlog. We got tattoos, uh, fish shopping. We got a big announcement next video, so I hope to see you right back here. Just hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and next video will be worth it, I promise. Peace!